Welcome. Uh, could you please tell me your name and, and why are you here? So I'm Denise Silber. Um, I am the founder of a conference which is a partner to Games for Health in Europe called Doctors 2.0 and You. And, and you're here to, to check this out, if they're, if they're doing okay? Or? Well, uh, <laughs> no, um, I'm very interested in the partnership with Games for Health uh, in Europe because of the importance of this subject. Mm -hmm. And I'm here speaking and to meet people. And, and you're speaking. What, what's the uh, well, the main issue you want to get you want to get across? Um, the main uh, theme of my speech are, is the series of amazing things that are happening uh, in Europe in uh, social media, mobile apps. Um, I don't speak specifically about games for health, but I believe that this is that gaming techniques are part of all of social media. Mm. And and that's. A, a big change? That's, that's something you, you, you saw change? Uh, yes, the, um, the area of, uh, of social media and apps for healthcare is innovating all the time. Uh -huh. um, so we find some of the same themes here in Amsterdam uh, as we would find at the conference in Paris, but looked at in a slightly different way. Here really the focus is gaming. And we're focused on um, collaborative innovation. So they have a common uh, ground and then their specificities. Yeah. And, and if you say uh, we're focused on um, collaboration, collaboration between whom? This is a wonderful uh, question. We bring everyone together at the conference. Now, everybody can't collaborate with everybody. But um, <laughs> but who's everybody? Is it right. is it like doctors or patients? Or? So the everybody uh, is uh, all of healthcare. We have speakers who are physicians, professionals, hospitals, government, industry, and startups and innovation companies. And uh, what they present must be collaborative. So um, it might be an application that brings patients together, or that brings patients and professionals together. For for example. A Dutch company um, that is here as well uh, won in 2012 our startup contest uh, for an application which I would say uh, encourages collaboration between patients and professionals. What we see in uh, healthcare social media is that there should be three possibilities. Patients collaborating, professionals collaborating, or the two together. Mm -hmm. And those two, the patients by themselves and the physicians by themselves, doesn't take much to make it happen. Where it must happen more and where you have to provide new ways for this to happen, a new incentive, is between the professional and the patient. So why is that difficult? It's difficult because physicians, uh, the, the business model for physician, when I say collaboration I mean outside of the consultation, uh -huh. the business model for a physician does not foresee this. The, uh, the way that a physician is paid is for the time they spend in their office uh, or in the surgery and uh, maybe some insurance companies and some payers are beginning to realize the advantage of email, uh, for example, between physician and patient or that physicians should prescribe an application or other web-based things but that's a tiny fraction of what it is and patients are afraid or don't think that if they were to say to their doctor, is there some app I should be using? That they don't imagine the doctor would have an answer, and he probably no. doesn't. Yeah, yeah. So and there have to be times when people are by themselves. There are times patients must be able to discuss only amongst patients, physicians only amongst physicians. But there should be this third space, and that's the name of our conference, Doctors 2.0 and You, because we wanted to bring the doctor in um, Typically, we always get asked, like, there's the internet, but um, this is to make patients stronger against the doctor or to question the doctor. Yeah. And the point is, it should be a collaborative space. Yeah. It sounds like quite a complex uh, subject because, because there is so much, well, friction and... and, 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 and well, yes, it is complicated, <laughs> there are legal considerations and there are financial considerations, yeah. yes. So, so. Do you see, are, are there any solutions already? Are there any examples where yes. you can say, well, this, this, is, this looks really promising? Yes, um, in terms of the uh, 
individual communities for physicians. There are around the world some great examples, and we bring them together. For example, there's a Chinese uh, physician community with over a million members, and maybe they didn't know the people um, from Europe or the United States. They met at our conference, so they can exchange ideas to optimize what they do. Um, the uh, fact that we gave, uh, I would say, uh, visibility to this Dutch uh, Synapse uh, company um, was certainly helpful in the time, in the year after the conference. Uh, they have been doing a lot of things, Not, that's their own merit, but if we can help them in some way through visibility. Um, and um, we're, we're very strong in uh, social media ourselves, so we uh, have a hashtag during the conference that is very distributed, oh, sorry, <laughs> very distributed around the world. Um, so it is a subject that's well, that's alive. And it's that's alive easy. and it's moving uh, forward. I can't say that. I mean, I guess they wouldn't need us if everything were perfect, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, another big issue you see in, in uh, well, applied games is uh, uh, the fact that uh, um, there well, seems to be quite a lot of money uh, nowadays, especially in America, for, for well, investors get in. Is that, is that a good thing, you think? You know, there are two theories about investing in a company. Some people say that the company should really generate its own money because a lot of startups, burn, they call it burn up. Mm -hmm. They burn the money and then they just go do something else. There are very few successful startups in healthcare. Um, maybe this is true as well for startups in general, that uh, few become the top 10 that you have heard of. On the other hand, I have seen through the startup contest that when startups try to go ahead with almost no money, they are doomed to failure. So there is something in between where the investor needs to help them make a better business and not just give money. Yeah. Yeah. So really work alongside and yes. shape them. In a sh yeah. Yeah. Um, validation is always an issue. In, in, uh, uh, Validation is the whole partner thing. If uh, if you go to do a project in healthcare, it's important to bring in different organizations. This makes the project take longer. On the other hand, it brings in validation within the process, so it's an important thing. Mm. Yeah. Difficult as well. Difficult. <laughs> This is the problem when you get everybody in healthcare around the table. The table is huge. And it takes a very long time to put them together because they have different interests. Yeah, and, and they seem to be from different worlds altogether. So it's, it seems like you have to, to get people from very diverse well, worlds together. Yes, and that's why it's good to be able to prolong the uh, relationship through online means, not just meetings, because that's too expensive and too rare. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you see any other main issues in, in the applied games world uh, besides validation yes, of money? Yes, no. Um, validation beforehand and then evaluation of results. Um, people really want to see results in new things, otherwise why bother? Yeah, Now, a lot they of want times to know that it really works. Right, otherwise yeah. we say, well, but you didn't validate the old method. Okay, but we're doing it. If I have to change, it's a big effort, so they want to see the results, and um, th this is this is difficult. What do you think the world looks like in a few years' time? Well, when you one, look at, the, at this, one word we haven't talked about is genetics, and I'm not a genetic specialist. But if the nature of medicine really changes to become much more predictive through use of genetic analysis, then. Um, I think that all of the people working on all the current innovation are going to have to take that into account. That could make a big change. The other big game changer is probably financial. The fact that we see around the world the health systems all say that they're ready to collapse because they don't have enough money to take care of this increasing population. Um, so those are two things. But in the meantime, what I do see that's positive in our area is that people aren't fighting this so much anymore. People used to say, oh, computers, and, uh, it's not human. I, I think now um, that there is much more acceptance and therefore we should go a lot faster. Mm. Yeah. So, so you're, you are positive in the So end. I'm positive about it and uh, I, I'm always happy to be in a gathering like this one. This is a great quality. Congratulations to Yurian and Sandra. Mm. When will you go home and, and be a happy woman? I will uh, go home on Tuesday night. Yeah? yeah. And when will you, will you be... Uh, oh, will I be a happy yeah. woman? I, I'm happy now. Uh, <laughs> yes, I think I will take away from this some great contacts. Yeah. Yeah.
Thank you very much. Thank you.